Um, okay, uh, let's get started. So, um, hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here for my talk. Uh, my name is uh, Tian Chen. I'm from uh, VMware. Um, in our team, uh, mostly focus on machine learning AI, especially um, how to accelerate machine learning AI in uh, multiple ways. Today, I'm going to talk about one of these uh, efforts that GPU.x is about how to um, do uh, GPU fraction and sharing on uh, machine learning on frameworks. So on the background is, um, you know, machine learning have seen uh, exponential growth in the last uh, decade. Um, but usually, uh, we need to leverage some hardware that rate, um, typically GPU, um, various types of the GPU to accelerate uh, deep learning uh, workload. But I think you both know GPU is, uh, is uh, very expensive. No matter how and where you get this GPU, uh, either from a uh, cloud GPU rental service or you just buy a GPU directly. Um, on the other side, if you take a close look at uh, how we use GPU in data center in production, uh, you would be surprised by some facts. Here are these two of these centers for our talk. One is the lower GPU utilization. The other is to um, take a long time to wait on uh, enough GPU available. Um, I better through, uh, you know, through uh, a simple Google search with some uh, uh, relevant keywords, you can get many these kind of data analysis that reveal um, these facts. So uh, here, for a limited time, I don't want to discuss this. But anyway, we need to do something for this. So um, actually, uh, for this well-known problem, um, there, there are some um, solutions existing toward the kind of you know, GPU uh, virtualization. Um, given the GPU software stack, especially NVIDIA GPU, uh, there's some uh, different uh, ways like pass-through, MIG, and vGPU, and API for wording. Um, in either case, there's some different uh, limitation. For example, if you talk about pass-through, you cannot share that. MIG, a uh, multiple instances group, uh, it just supports you know, few uh, limited hardware partition and cannot be uh, reallocated and uh, or reassigned dynamically at the wrong time. Uh, VGPU, um, I would say you know, it's complicated uh, for uh, this. So what about that um, API forwarding? So uh, um, relatively speaking, API forwarding based solutions are more prevalent. Uh, simply put, API forwarding, um, this code, the CUDA code can be uh, forwarded to do something like to uh, resolve our problem. That's good, but you should realize we first need to hack that CUDA. But you know, because of CUDA the closed the source nature, there are many uh, technical difficulties, such as you know, code launch mechanism, uh, context mechanism, and uh, hidden API, etc. Um, also, you know, there are some other problems. I mean, you have to consider the development and the maintenance of this you know, API. So I was just thinking, can we you know, make this API forwarding based solution better somehow? So uh, in order to uh, overcome all those challenges of handling low-level uh, CUDA API, um, we still you know, target that API interception. But uh, we can move this up to machine learning upstream frameworks, such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and so on. Now that being said, we will do our API interception at the Python level in the machine learning frameworks. So uh, with this solution, um, especially compared to um, that traditional uh, API forwarding solution, as I just said, you know, we can make this live, you know, dynamic, and you know, flexible. And uh, you also don't need to uh, compile those low-level library and runtime in hacking something again and again. It's also based on Python, so it's uh, easily integrated to uh, any uh, machine learning uh, mainstream frameworks. Potentially, we can extend this to support other hardware accelerate non-GPU, because we are in the frameworks, right? So I'd like to talk a bit more here. So as you see here, uh, we are introduce our unique interposer to our machine learning frameworks. To um, offer such ability, our interposing any Python call from uh, these machine learning frameworks at the wrong time. After that, we can do uh, whatever you want to do. Um, specifically for our problem, you know, we can do that GPU memory management and even other features. We also bring out you know, some uh, that live isolation mechanism to uh, separate different uh, you know, running environments to guarantee uh, in each of these running environments, you just see and use your uh, GPU memory partition. So next uh, demo. So as you see here, I already opened the three terminal shell 
on the left, uh, use the NVIDIA SMI to watch what's happening with my GPU card. That's GeForce 28, 8 gigabytes. On the right side, there are two other terminal shells from top to down, um, more like two a different user. Okay, I'll stand from the top on the right side. Uh, first, still use the NVIDIA SMI to show how we are in this host with that GPU, you know, GeForce 28, right, 8 gigabytes. Now I use my GPU.x to partition the GPU on 1.3. Um, now let's check that again. So you see, now we just have that 24 uh, megabytes, 2500 megabytes, right? It's the 30% of the 8 gigabytes. Let's see uh, if it can really work. So here I use the PyTorch. Now uh, I first loaded the PyTorch module. And then I just call this uh, simple function on this to allocate that uh, GPU on memory for this. So uh, for the first time, it's okay because we have that enough GPU memory for this. I just pause that. Um, let's see, uh, check it out. You see we have this one, right? Okay. Um, but if you are trying to uh, further allocate more GPU memory for this, not surprisingly, it was failed because of our cooldown out of memory as expected. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm, now I jump to another terminal shell. Um, here, um, our partition GPU on 1.2. Uh, let's check that. You see, uh, we, here, we have the 16 um, hundred megabytes, 20% um, percent of 8 gigabytes, okay. So I now uh, can use that the same way um, to check this can work. You see how that works, right? Okay. That's it. Uh, another uh, was mentioning here. I use saying uh, on the host, uh, you can see all the process. All the process are running on this GPU, but in each of the running environment, you just see your process. You know, that's isolation. Okay. Um, let's somehow have, you can see how we can really um, you know, partition and share this GPU. Uh, actually, you also can you know, further you know, reconfigure this you know, at the runtime dynamically. So um, that's all. If you have any question, um, please reach out to me at any time, Twitter or email address. Thank you.